Hello friends. In today's episode, we look into complete step-by-step -step installation of drip irrigation system for your home or container gardening and some very useful tips and tricks to apply during installation. Coming up. With summer in full swing, maintaining a vibrant garden is every gardener's main concern. A good drip irrigation system can be key to maintaining a beautiful yard while conserving water and maintaining lower costs. Some people consider drip irrigation as the concept of a lazy gardener. It is partly true. If you are young, energetic and have time to spare an hour to water your plants, this is not for you. This is for people who have larger garden or for those who do not have time or for elderly people, drip irrigation system is certainly a boon. Having said that, let's do it. Remember, you can easily do it yourself and it's really simple and you don't have to hire some professionals for this job. I've done everything myself for the entire garden. Well, we'll split this topic into three sections. Components of a drip irrigation system, then planning the installation and the actual procedure. Please watch it till the end. We'll show you some important tips and tricks like how to adjust water flow to each and every plant because every plant has its own watering requirement. First step is knowing the components of a drip irrigation system. Let's quickly look at each and every component. Main supply pipe, usually this is 16 mm in caliber. Then the feeder line pipes, usually they are 4 mm in caliber. Then drip emitters, emitter stakes, these are to anchor the drip emitters to the container. These are pin connectors, usually 4 mm to connect the feeder to the main supply. These are T connectors, these are straight connectors, these are straight connectors with taps, these are very important. These are elbow connectors, these are dummy pieces and these are end caps. Then this is a S hole puncher, that is to make holes. Then this is water tap connector and this is Teflon tape and optionally water flow controllers or timers if you have the budget. Next step is planning. This is nothing complicated but not to be ignored. Firstly count the number of containers or plants you have in total. Then arrange the containers in one or multiple rows. Sort out the plants like water loving plants that are exposed to maximum sunlight and also shade loving plants, succulents and others and keep them separate or arrange accordingly. You can exclude these plants which require once a week or twice a week watering or connect a separate line for these using a connector with valve or tap to close the supply and open this only once or twice a week. If this is not possible, do not worry, I'll show you how to adjust the amount of water flowing into each plant during the installation process. So please stay tuned. Well, you can even sketch this plan out on a piece of paper which might be very helpful during installation procedure. Then the next step is approximately measuring the requirements that is to order either a 50 plant kit, 100 plant kit or a 200 plant kit depending on the size of your garden. This one is a 150 plant kit with 30 meters of main supply pipe, 60 meters of feeder line and all these other components. The link to purchase this is given in the video description below. You can check that if you are interested. Well, the final step is how to install drip irrigation system for your home or terrace garden. First step is to start with the main supply line. Just start laying this pipe in between two rows or behind the containers. If you have two rows, it's wise to put in this between these two rows. You will know the advantage of this as we proceed further. At corners or turnings, you can use elbow connectors to prevent kinks and blockage. If you want to limit or cut off supply to a portion of your garden, use the straight connector with tap. This is particularly useful if you do not have sufficient water pressure in your garden, especially in your terrace garden. In my case, I want one supply to go to these hanging pots. So I'll use a T connector or a splitter to make one line to the top and also I'll install straight connector with a tap beyond this to close this valve and divert the flow exclusively to the hanging containers whenever needed. Also try to use straight connectors with taps at multiple places so that you can selectively water different portions of your garden. 
If you have some larger containers or plants not accessible to this main supply line, then you can use these self-watering drip needles. These fit into any standard size bottles like Pepsi or Sprite bottles. Just cut the top of the bottle and fill water and adjust the drip flow rate or drops per minute by rotating the knob. For larger plants, you may use larger size bottles and vice versa. Well, you should also use Teflon tape or glue if you want to prevent leaks from these joints. Then the next step is to punch holes in the main supply pipe to connect the feeder lines. You can punch one hole at diagonally opposite sides of the main supply pipe. This is to ensure proper distribution of pressure or the flow of water. This is the reason I said laying the main pipe in between the rows. Insert the 4mm pin connectors to one end and then at the container end first insert a stake to anchor the emitters to the soil then connect the drip emitters. This is the outlet and this is the inlet of a drip emitter. Repeat these connections for every container in your garden. To control the drip flow rate, that is the drops per minute, depending on the type of plant you have, you need to adjust the water flow knob of each drip emitter. Then make sure you close the end of the main supply pipe using the end caps. You just have to insert the end cap and then bend the pipe and loop it like this to block the pipe. Then finally connect the main supply pipe to the water source. You can even use automatic timers and controller devices if you have the budget. So there you have it folks, please give me a thumbs up if you found this video helpful, share this with your friends and comment below with your queries and feedback. Consider subscribing if you are new to the channel. Happy gardening!